Hi there, welcome back. I'm uh, gonna do, uh, these are really cool. This is a Justin Schofield uh, specialty. It's a, a yogurt flatbread. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of twist of, just a tiny bit of Parmesan in there. Um, it's pretty simple, and also some caraway seeds. Now what I've done there with the caraway seeds, I've lightly toasted those first, and you can, you can smell those, they're great. Got a bit of salt there, with a little bit of heat in that salt, just a little bit of chilli uh, salt in there. So first what we're gonna do is, and it's equal amounts, excuse me, I forgot something. It's equal amounts of yogurt, <coughs> Greek yogurt, so about 250 grams of Greek yogurt and about 250 grams of plain flour. Okay, so let's, I just got a little um, measure here just to work out 250 grams, make sure that's calibrated. And then it's just a case of putting it all in the dough mixer. You could do it by hand, I just find it a bit easier to, uh, Get uh, the machine to do the roll. That's about 200, uh, 221, 238, 250. There we go. So 250 grams of that plain flour. Um, half a teaspoon of baking powder, okay? You don't need yeast for this because it is a flat wrap bread. So just half a teaspoon of baking powder. We might put that all in, in here now. We've got the right measurements. So we need a little stirrer with the hook, okay? So with the hook that makes the dough. Pretty cool machine. Um, as I said, one and a half tablespoons of the caraway seeds. Um, just those caraway seeds, and they've been slightly uh, roasted just quickly on the, uh, the hot pan. And just, uh, you don't normally do this, but why not use parmesan? So right, let's just go three kind of little tablespoons of the parmesan. Just a, a pinch of that salt, maybe just on a tablespoon of salt. And now about 250 grams of the yogurt, the Greek yogurt, okay? So that's a, a one kilo, it's a little bit taken out. So let's just kind of work that out. So that'll be about, uh, you know, about a quarter of that, so again, don't want to make it too wet. Right, and just slowly putting that down with that, and just let that mix in, right? I want to try and make sure it gets all the way to the side, so I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Let it do its thing. And just with a spatula, just get to the sides a little bit, and it kind of help it through. So you kind of want to get that dough consistency, obviously. And what we're going to do is roll it up, get it rolled, let's get that out of the way. Uh, I, I need a bit of the oil for the pan, but not too much, right? Because you really want to crisp this up. So just a little bit of oil, what you'll notice there. I've got another uh, oil done. That's a bit hot, so I might turn that one down. That's a little bit. We we'll might wait for those for a little bit. Right, so just let's go back to this here. Awesome, looking good. All right, so I can slow that down, bring it up, bring the hook out of it, get it all out. I don't know if you can smell that. You can smell the Greek yogurt in it. Now, actually, just before I do that, what I want to do is uh, get a little bit of that, that flour and just lightly dust where you're going to work on it because uh, you don't want to stick. And then we're going to use some baking power paper there just to uh, help roll it out. Okay, so let's get that out of there. Okay, so you're going to probably make four out of these. Okay, so just with your dough, just lightly dusting it with a bit of that uh, extra flour on there. Now, what I like to do is just with that, just kind of four even, you know, cut into quarters so you can make four of these. And again, same process, just get a little bit of that dose, just, I'm going to show that flour, just so it doesn't stick to anything. Get it out of the way. Two sides of the baking paper, and this just helps it uh, not stick. Right? So really just what you want to do is get it flattish. I know it's a flat bread, but get flattish. You really don't want to go too thick, because uh, it won't cook, um, but just, uh, you would have seen these in, um, at Indian restaurants, almost like a naan bread. 
Uh, and just that consistent kind of approach, just to soften, you can see that, you can see that through there, you can see it, yep. Wonderful, doesn't stick hopefully. There's a little bit of stickiness there. Might give that another go. But ultimately, you want to kind of, maybe just a little bit of that flour. And then we'll use that again. And, and that's essentially one. We'll get that off, we'll do four of them, and then we'll cook them up and I'll show you what it looks like. See you soon. All right, you can see four equal <coughs> size uh, flatbreads. And got the pans on. You want them fairly hot, right? Uh, got those on. A little drizzle of the oil as well. Again, not too much. Pans are hot. I'd do them one at a time as well, right? So let's just get one of those on there. Fairly warm. Obviously, not going to fit more than one on at a time. So, and I'll take a couple of minutes either side. And we'll get one going on here as well. With that skillet there, and you want to get um, something to heat them up and kind of flip them over as well as they start to go, making sure that's on high heat. And that you want to kind of that little bubbly, uh, that, that popping bubbly sort of edge to it, which is that brown toasting. You get caraway seeds coming through, the smell of the a little bit of that parmesan as well. And we can use this, we're gonna do a little karachi chicken, uh, dip karachi chicken in them, and then of course a little bit of tzatziki or something for these flatbreads. So, as I said, this will take a couple of minutes, just making sure it's warming up, perfect. Keep it on high heat for both of them. We'll get this going, flip them over, and we'll come back and show you. All right, let's have a look at these. Um, probably ready to flip that one. Oh, yummy. Okay, perfect. Look at that, and we should get a little nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Um, just a little bit of oil, just because you don't want it to dry out too much. You want it, and of course you don't want it too wet as well. Just put a little bit there to help that cook. Ripper. We'll keep going with that. Plate it up and show you what the end product looks like.